Now further move on and talk about the arterial supply, venous drainage, nerve supply and lymphatics. We won't be talking about in detail about everything, I'll be just telling you uh, superficially and give you an idea uh, what structures are supply, what uh, which structures are supplying uh, the anal canal. So we'll start by the arterial supply. If I talk about the arterial supply, remember uh, that uh, we talked, you remember we talked about uh, the pectinate line. So this is your pectinate line, get an idea again. So first, uh, we'll, we have divided uh, the anal canal into two portions, uh, depending on the pectin line, above portion and below portion. It's because of uh, their different origins. So first, we'll talk about the above uh, blood supply above the pectin line, and then we'll talk about the blood supply or arterial supply below the pectin line. So first, we'll be talking about the arterial supply above the pectin line, which cannot be seen in this diagram, but uh, you have to remember this one. So above the pectinate line, remember, the uh, arterial supply is through the superior rectal artery. Above the pectin line, we have the arterial supply, superior rectal artery, which is a branch of your inferior mesenteric artery. And below the pectin line, we have inferior rectal artery, which is the branch of internal pudendal artery. This is the simplest arterial supply of uh, this guy and anal, uh, anal canal. When we talk about the venous drainage, similar is there. The above the pectin line, we have superior rectal vein, which empties into inferior mesenteric vein, and finally that goes into your portal venous system. And above and below the pectin line, we have the inferior rectal vein, which empties into internal pudendal vein which drains into your systematic venous system. And the third thing we have to talk about is nerve supply. The nerve supply is uh, below, uh, the, above the pectinate line, we have the visceral innervation uh, via the inferior hypogastric plexus, which is actually sensitive to stretch. And uh, above the pectinate line, we have the, uh, be below the pectinate line, we have the somatic innervation via the inferior anal nerves and nerves branches of which is a branch of your pudendal nerve which is actually sensitive to pain temperature touch and pressure the lymphatics is not that much it's very simple uh, the lymphatics is uh, above the pectin line again is internal iliac lymph nodes and below the pectin line we have this is your pectin line we have the superficial inguinal lymph nodes so this is it uh, regarding the anal canal. I hope I have talked uh, about everything that is related to the anal canal, internal structure, outer and division. I hope you got the whole lecture and please make sure to leave a comment and make sure to subscribe to our channel and let us know if there is anything we could help you with and uh, we'll try our level best to make a video in 24 hours and uh, give it to you and keep visiting Tig's schooling. Thank you.